Right, good morning guys, welcome to another video. I'm at Lakeside Fishery at Ranskill today. And Greg, as you asked, that's for you. Cheers, my mate. Don't need that thank you, thank yeah. you. So, uh, basically, Lakeside Fishery at Ranskill. Been years since I've been here. Fished some strip lakes over there with diamond many moons ago. This was actually, we're on Trout Lake today, and it was for trout originally. So I don't know how long it's been since it's, uh, since it's been uh, changed. But uh, I've spoken to my old mate Gaz Turner, good old Gaz, and he says embed feeder or an hybrid feeder down middle, feed it heavy with sixes. It is quite deep down there, but about 12 or 13 foot deep. Uh, top two and one short with a six mil pellet, feed sixes of it top. Um, and then I've got a marginary bridge. Oh, it's it's rocky inside, very rocky. Try to get in as tight as I can. But you'll go like, you'll go like, oh, that's two foot. And you'll go like 18 inches and drop down to about four foot. It's just not, it's not the best. It's not the best. Um, and then I've got a caster shallow rig. Peggy, my mate, said try caster shallow at seven metres. So what I'm going to do is I'll start with that, uh, I'll start with uh, pellet short, see how we go with that. And if that doesn't do, I might start priming me, uh, priming me caster line. So long, medium, short, and margins. That's it. If you see me doing no else, then it's all gone out at window. And uh, I'm trying different methods. Cheers, guys. All in. Right, so I've got a handful of sixes. And I'm going to do a top two and one. So a 4x12 float, a nice large 6 mile pallet on the feed. We'll see how we go. For a back shot on oh, yeah, what's this? Quick bites, aren't they? Just made a few uh, pellets on that one. That's a camp, I know nothing. It's deep, the line just go straight to the bottom. This is that map hybrid elastic, and it is the is it 14, 16, something like that. Sixty pound net limit, and he weighs you in and all. So, gotta be careful. You use your landing net, and it's their keep nets. This is a silver or an F1. Okay. 
decent, they would do. Five, ten, I think it's F1 to be fair. Got a barbell, Wayne. Wayne. Pound for that, yeah? Radio. This is a bit better fish. in his mouth and not to got a feeling he's gonna I mugged him. With being big I don't want him to go mad. and turned and went for it and they were all gravy.
see that's what I'm doing. Should I go for Thornton Berry? Look at that mark there. Yes. in that one. Is he gonna let me uh, walk him way that week, you know? Big fish this. surface gets swallowed from air. some section on. Only a little. This gear will slow him down. Bring it in back there, look.
They'll bring him back. So it looks as though it's foul hooked. Sniffed at. It's in the fin. That's why we're going to get him. seem very small underwater. So we'll get packed up. I think I've got about 40 pounds, something like that. It's been hard, very hard. I don't think I'll be last, I don't think I'll be first, but uh, I'm enjoying it nonetheless. <sighs> yeah, there's some water down there. Cheers. Yeah. Have they? Yeah. 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 And you've had 50 pound two. 50 pound two? No, you're all right, mate. You're all right. Right then. I've had £50 two, plus a barbell, which counts as a pound, because you don't let him go in keep net, so £51 two. He said that 58 were winning bank, so I'm second, second on this bank. But I think uh, Archie, down that end, he were, uh, he were fishing shallow with Castor, and he's got about £75. So, I've learnt plenty. Um, I think, I think, shallow, 14 and a half, if I'd have persevered with that, they were there. But I only got a small dibber on one of your floats for that point three, and I need a bristle of my eyes. My eyes aren't what they were. So that's why I was two foot, went like that, got one about three pound. It only took a couple of minutes, six on up and feeding fours. Down edge, 
probably too deep, probably too deep down there. Another day, if it weren't so hot, they'd have come in. They were coming in, but they weren't interested in what I want, what I had to offer. So short went well, started that. Um, could I have done any more on that? No, I think that's a line that you come on and then you catch so many and then you probably don't return to that. Um, I dare say you could return to it when you're waiting for them to come to margins, but I tried it throughout the day and it didn't really have it. Um, tried shallow at caster at eight metres. That worked for a few roach and a perch, so not really. Um, probably if I'd have persevered with it, but they wanted the wind. They didn't. The wind weren't. The wind weren't my end. I were in the wind, but it, it wasn't my end. That's what I feel. I think that that 14 and a half metres shallow had a dump business and. Uh, I've uh, I've made a schoolboy error by not having some floats with some tips on for shallow. Uh, and margins, what can I say about margins? Wayne set off with the margins. He had dead reds and fed ground bait. I had micros and fed corn. Um, he was bagging and he had a lull. Then I started catching and then it just went dead. So, hmm, pellet wag. Probably not wide enough for pellet wag. You'd be encroaching on other people's things, other people's uh, line up far side. Had I gone on to Milky's line on the other side. But that's it. I've learnt plenty. I've just asked him, um, when I first came here, like, well, last time I came here, these were trout lakes. Uh, there was just odd staging you'd walk around, but he said that about five years now they've been like that. He says he's restocking it again because again, too big for match lakes. So. But uh, I've enjoyed it and I'll certainly be back. So uh, I learnt plenty as well. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you up next one. Take care. Cheers.